Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game, man. You know what? Um, I really came to really not care for Howard Stern. I used to tolerate him, but then Howard Stern used to further and further. Uh, he revealed his his racism years ago, and he likes to hide behind the fact that he has his you know, co-host or whatever, his sidekick or bed winch, whatever you want to call it, Rob, Robin, to basically try to hide his racism behind her or through her by trying to talk about certain things and say certain things. And he always uses, well, I have a, a black co-host and Robin Quivers is like the biggest disappointment. She's one of the biggest disappointments to the black community ever to sit up there and work with this blatant racist. And it's funny how they talk about other people, but you know, um, Robin, she like a original, you know, she like a OC, you know, original coon, not original gangster, original coon. But you know, it's funny when it came to Howard Stern, Howard Stern used to always over the years, and the reason why I started steadily backing away from him because he just started to more and more show his racism. He one of them dudes, he'll put something out there, see how much backlash he get. And then, cause that's how a lot of them do. You know, that's how a lot of them do. They, they try to surround themselves with, you know what I'm saying? A handkerchief head or two and try to act like they have an intellectual conversations pertaining to certain uh, situations. And in particularly uh, concerning the black community or issues with the black community. And they'll just slowly start to sneak little innuendos in as they get more comfortable. Then they start saying more outlandish or outrageous or flat out disrespectful stuff via Bill Murr. But Howard Stern, he's always tried to play silly or play stupid and try to either downplay or disregard any situation when it pertained to racism when in fact and in a lot of the key talking points that black people were the victims of some kind of blatant racism or you know systematic racism some kind of racism and he'd always play it down keep in mind he once said uh, when they were early talks of reparation, he said that the white man didn't owe black people nothing. He's always said racist stuff. He dressed in blackface. He used both versions of the N word like that make a difference. And you just see the arrogance of this dude. But now his latest comments is, oh, and remember, I talked about this. He says that, you know, the black Basketball players with the New York Knicks don't acknowledge him or speak to him while they speak to uh, Spike Lee or or Tracy McGrady. So he was trying to insinuate that they don't want to talk to him because he's a white guy. First of all, I've seen uh, black basketball players talk to guys like Leonardo DiCaprio, other famous white guys. Has nothing to do with him being white. But here you go. You got white people. And that's something that they've really been trying to. That's something they really been trying to, you know, basically try to play the game of the reverse racism card, which, by the way, there's no such thing as reverse racism. Now they want to play like they're victims of racism, like black people just go around harassing them, preventing them from doing anything. I'm still waiting for a white man to, you know, show me proof that a black man wouldn't serve him. You know, um, at a store he may have owned or a restaurant because he was white or he got racially profiled, kicked out of a, a, a mall or shopping center because he was being racially profiled because they thought he would take something that didn't belong to him. But we didn't see that with, with people from my community. But the nerve of him to just say that, you know, he's sitting on the floor, so they need to acknowledge him. Once again, this shows his arrogant white supremacist ways. Sound like them old policemen from back in the day, you know, um, 
that used to basically delete black men if they didn't acknowledge them. I mean, would delete them right on the spot or beat them up. And, you know, Howard Stern is pushing 70 if he isn't 70. So, you know, and I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, he loves to say, oh, I grew up in a black neighborhood. So, what the hell does that mean? Doesn't mean you like black people. It's funny, you have people that live in them type of neighborhoods and can't stand black people. Because one, some of them mad because they, they're there. And they can't get, find themselves in a better position to move somewhere where it's more people that look like them living in. So, like I said before, Howard Stern also need to understand this new generation. Most of these dudes are in their 20s and early 30s. More than likely, if you were born past like 19, um, probably past 19, you know, 80, 88, you probably ain't gonna know who Howard Stern is because he mostly is on radio. He doesn't show his face. But for him to sit up there and say that black players need to speak to him, and it bothers him. So what? That's your, your damn problem. Speak to them. Why they got to come speak to you? Why they got to come speak to your white ass? Why don't you say something to them? Introduce yourself. But there you there you have it. He think that they supposed to talk to him, acknowledge him. But I told you this, that a lot of celebrities, they like to have the right to, t uh, to say no to you or... They like to have the right to ignore you and feel like they're better than you or you're beneath them. They hate it if you don't know who they are. I told you what happened with me. <laughs> I told you what happened with me and uh, a former A-list celebrity. He doing a lot of, you know, uh, made for video, made for t TV movies now. But he was a former A-list actor. And I saw him. <laughs> I pretended like I didn't know who he was, but I knew who he was. And when I said, have a good day and said his name, he smiled, gave me that, you know, because he was like, you don't know who I am. So a lot of celebrities have that ignorance and that that arrogance towards them that they're, you know, above everybody. So I'm just laughing at Howard Stern. You know, the nerve of that Ritz. He sound like that dude on the birth of, of nation. You baptize a white man? How dare you, you baptize a white man? Like, how dare you not speak to the white man? So, Howard Stern can go to hell. Real talk. Anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.